It's Shalom. I want to start off saying, call like you lie. Yeah, how will about Shem? Yeah, was shy. By Shem, we which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yeah, how will. And it's all in the God's Son, Yeah, how will shy. Which is our Lord the Savior and to the Holy Spirit. The Thomas and Akabala has screamed, Shah's Allah, which means give the honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach you well. And Shalom, I'm Allah, which means peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come here with you again on that lesson. Uh, I'm the brother Anna from the GMS Memphis camp. Um, um, I guess this lesson gonna be um basically a dream, a vision I had the other night. Uh, I think two days ago or, or yesterday I, I can't remember, but watching this right here, uh, the video from GMS Washman, uh, Pastor to Hard Running, you know. He was speaking on the chip, and when he when he said, uh, which I'm I'm about to play it, when he said, um, I think the guy was uh, received the chip in the chest, it sparked back, you know, the spirit came back on me about that dream, you know, that I had about my my grandmother, you know, I I, I live with my girl, I helped take care of her and stuff like that. She had other woman, you know, but. And then dream, um, she was um, like she was about to get uh, surgery or whatever. But it was like a doctor, and doctor gave me tools. Like I guess he wanted me to cut her open. I think it was a belly chest, whatever. But when he gave me the tools, you know, you know, tools like you dissect something. You know, I, I don't know the fucking tools name or nothing like that. But he gave it to me, and I was like, I, I didn't know what to do with it. So he took the tools back, and he started. Then when he about to start, it was like, nah, not right here. It's right here. So we, we, um, when he cut open, it was like a middle thing, because I was watching it, and I just seen a middle where a chest or a stomach was. Then after that, you know, you know, dreams jump, and I'm explaining it the best way that I would, that I can remember, you know, slack you. Um, so once he cut open, cut open her stomach, it was a metal, a metal plate or whatever. And you know, dream jump when she got done with the procedure, she said, "I hope you didn't put the chip in me." There was, there, there was um, exact words. I hope you didn't put the chip in me. And then when the dream jumped to another uh, another uh, thing, another, uh, another uh, what the word for it? Something else happened in the dream, basically, man. Well, um, basically, um, it was basically like Jacob Trouble. You know, I really don't want to go into that. Because basically, we're basically doing this with the second part of it. I was, you know, I was on the one, basically, of, of fleeing, you know? And I had a woman with me, man. But I had put two guards, you know, really deaf. I don't know, like, the uh, environment. It looked like a railroad or something. You know, I put two guards to death and climbed down a ladder. And, and um, basically, it was like a safe haven that I could be wrong. I don't know. But the woman did something that pissed me off, and I kind of yelled at her. And when I yelled, she told me, "Shh, don't don't talk too loud," and stuff like that. And when she said that, I knew in my spirit, you know, I fucked up. But you know, I said that because I even I came in, you know, basically told her, "I see, I, I can come up, come out from hiding with the woo," you know. Uh, I basically woke up, man, from there. When I woke up, I asked the Lord, please, you know, explain the dream to me. And I kind of dozed back off. And basically, the Lord told me, though, the chip that my grandmother had received, you know. And that's the main point, that, um, I guess, of the lesson, that the chip, man, you know, the chip, whether you take it in your hand, your forehead, you know, you know, you take it in your chest, butt cheek, whatever, man. You know, if you take it, you know, you're going to be destroyed, man. 
So, right, man, so she's back with my grandmother, you know, because she do be going to the doctor getting checkups on her hearts or whatever. But she said, I hope you didn't put the chip in me, man. And listening to this video, I'm going to play it real quick. Could be uh, Southern Italian. And he put a, actually had a chip put inside of his uh, chest. I believe the left side to uh, monitor his heart because he has a heart condition, if I'm not mistaken. So it monitors that. So that, that's really what uh, Spock spawned my spirit to do this because I kind of remember the dream about my grandmother, which he said, I hope you didn't uh, put the chip in me when the uh, doctor cut her open, man. You know? So, right, man, you know, please, hey, don't don't take the chip, man, if you were Israelite, you know? Let me get the scripture, man, Revelation. Because this is the chip, man. This is the mark of the beast, off at the microchip, man. And, the, you know, the mass scene, you know, don't take the mass scene, man. You say don't make don't make no cuttings in that flesh. You know, I know how you take shots. You know, you got some some shots, you know, you take in your ass or whatever. Hey, same thing with the chip, man. You will see that chip, you're going to be destroyed, man. You know, and I'm just close out on that, Revelation 14 and 9. But you can read Revelation 13 and 16. And God's are all, both small and great, which are poor, free, and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might bow himself, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, you know? So, right, so, hey, the mark of the beast can't be no Christianity, sleeping with um, white women and so on, man. It's some physical, man, you know? How can you buy a cell with uh, Christianity? Oh, it's sin. How can you buy a cell with sin, man? You know, or with a philosophy, man. It's the it's the mark of the beast. It's the chip. It makes sense. You know, it's, it makes sense, man. Revelation fourteen and nine. You know, and like I said, it just sparked my uh, spirit to do this, man. Cause I do receive a lot of um, dreams that I really don't go into. You know, do listen on, man. You know, I still got one. I still remember. You know, really to this day, you know. How on um, the second death, man, throw my nuclear missiles, the lake of fire, man, it's covered with the seas, the waters, you know. I still remember that. I just asked the brother, um, Elder Zahab, can you paint the picture, you know, draw it on paper for me while I was on the cruise ship, you know. Um, basically, I just asked him, can you just draw it for me, man, Elder Zahab from the GMS Memphis, Memphis, not Memphis, Mississippi Camp, man. He was, he was a good drawer, so I just asked him, can you paint, you know, draw it for me, man. Uh, I may still do a lesson on that, man, you know, because the cruise ship, you know, you still with niggas. Well, I think, hey, they were two-thirds. They were still partying and bullshitting, you know, and brothers were getting beam up. Or they was partying and bullshitting, you know, and the trusting came, you know, during the same time. But, hey, not to get off subject, to lock you on my end, you know. But right, this Revelation 14 and 9, the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man will shoot a beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same should drink of the wine of the wrath of the Messiah, which poured out without Mitchell into the cup of his indignation, which is righteous uh, judgment. And he should be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, Yahweh Shah, you know. So, right, you're going to be tormented. You're going to be part of the second death, which is to like a fire, you know, because you're showing the Lord that Esau Edom is so God, you know. So, right, that lamb, you have a shot, you know. You're going to be part of the second death. For you, If you take that chip, you know, take the mark of the beast, man, you know. You're going to be part of the second death, man. If you're an Israelite, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians into the Israelite foreigners, so spirit goes back to Israelite, you know, who been scattered much to our countries. They look like the other nations, man. If you wish well, you are not supposed to take the chip. You're not supposed to bow down to him. But two thirds, that's a prophecy, Zechariah 13 8. Two thirds should be cut off and die. Two thirds going to take it. You know? So, hey, it was just on my spirit to um, go in on that dream a little bit. You know, some little willing were edified, first and foremost, through the spirit power of Yahweh So, I'm going to close. Hey, I'll praise to Yahweh Shema Shai, by Shema Kadash. The bonus to the apostles and hit us of great minstone. Who did your way on peace and love to the lack of Israel? That's Shalom. Call me Ashala. Wa ba ba. It's like you.